because it's already i, so we got 2 plus 3i. Okay. And on the bottom, <laughs> we got negative 2i plus 4. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Remember, you can't have 99. We want to get rid of that. So you change the signs. You can either multiply by this. Negative on the bottom. Is that going to be equal to the same thing? No, that's why. Is a plus over a plus equal to one? Yeah, I did. Is a negative over a negative equal to one? I did plus over a plus, and I still got it wrong. I got the negatives on the top, and I don't know why. Because you you had a negative right here. No, I didn't. That's what you just told me. The first thing. No, I didn't. I didn't. You did multiply by plus over plus. I had plus over plus. What'd you get on top? Eight. Eight plus twelve square three. Plus two square root three. Plus nine times three. Because what square root three times square root three? Three. So you have three in front of the square root. You're not cutting up what the answer had in the book? Everybody agrees with my top so far? Yes, sir. Even though I can't do it myself? So what do we have? 8 and 9 make 3 makes 9, and square root of 3 times square root of 3 makes 3. That's, that's the answer I got, but then on the answer sheet, I thought it said that the top was supposed to be the answer. What's this going to be? A negative 20 what? 3. 3. Okay, guys, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this only once. I just wasted, I'm not trying to dog you, Robin, but I just wasted five minutes explaining the problem when the only thing wrong with the problem that you had was a negative. You've got to remember, what can I do? Multiply by a negative over a negative, negative 1 over negative 1, and that changes all the signs. And you got the right answer. I used to do that in college every single time. I would come up with the wrong answer just by a negative one over negative one. Every single time. Number nine. Number nine? Did you get a negative and the answer was positive? No, I didn't. I don't know what I did. Did, you, did we put number nine up already? Anybody remember that? Thank you. I mean, not on that one. Can somebody come up and put number nine where they can do it on the board or they still have their homework and can put it up? Go ahead. Number nine. Vaughn? Number 29, set B. Laura's about to put that up. If you do not understand what she's doing, did I get that wrong? Laura here? Laura's about to put that up. If you don't understand what she's doing, please ask. Laura, are you going to use foil or are you going to use the way the book shows? Which is foil or... <laughs> Check it out. We'll decide which way she's doing in a set. Yep. Number 30. Number 30. Oh, hey, guard. Thirty. Put a question on thirty. So I'll check. I'll talk while I'm writing, and then we'll check this out in a sec. You see how I, this was A to negative 1 B, so I put A underneath the band. <coughs> you see what I did? Now I'm going to say A over B, A over B. These cancel, the denominator is gone. I work with the top, I got to multiply by each term up there. So. Technically, this is a to the negative 2, a, b to the negative 1, plus a, 
b to the negative 1, b to the neg uh, negative exponent, instead of writing it as a fraction. You follow where I got those from? a to the first, b to the negative 1. Same thing you had on the denominator before, I'm just bringing it up now. So we got a to the first, I didn't write the 1, and then b to the negative 1. Multiply by the second term, b to the negative 1, b to the negative 1, and then I put the a in front. Answer. Oh. I took this, took this. And what'd you get when you did that? Uh, <laughs> Let's it. Yep. What is one half times one half? One fourth. Multiplying, we have like bases. What's the rule for exponents? Oh, oh there it is. Hi. Okay, I guys. In it. Hi. Fun. Here's the Stand money for being percent. good today. You wanted to sign up like by next Monday, before next Monday. Yeah. Well, uh, nobody can do them until next Tuesday. So 